first impressions are fantastic. Beautiful country, lovely people, and the weather has been so kind to us. Very good indeed, an incredible journey. I wasn't expecting it. It was, it was totally a surprise to see the height we went up, uh, the angle we were going at, and the, the colour of the, the lake, the mountains, with a bit, and just with a bit of snow on the top, that was the best. On getting to the top, it was uh, very, very impressive. I think this is a nice combination of both a holiday and that sort of tour that appeals to the railway enthusiasts, those particularly that enjoy steam. So just listen for the whistle and come back in good time and above all, enjoy the day. Very organised, yeah. no, no issues at all. You just tag along, everyone knows where they're going. So it's it's just been excellent. It's nice to go and just relax. I just thought I'd be riding a few trains for a couple hours a day and it's just been wonderful. We've got people who are here for the glorious scenery, the food, and just the general experience of being here, and as well as probably a half a dozen uh, railway enthusiasts who are keen to particularly enjoy the locomotives. The Hotel of Indians, a great hotel, it's comfortable. Couldn't ask for more, uh, beautifully clean, everything we want, with lovely hosts. Very knowledgeable and he's got just the right amount of giving you information. There's some uh, very good local blonde beer to be had here. He's been excellent, he's very relaxed. Um, but he's keeping the group all together. He's very interesting. Oh, he's a great fellow and easy to get on with and uh, informative. He's a good chap. <laughs> it's been the most wonderful uh, privilege, really, to fall into this job. That is shada, shada. <laughs> it's a wonderful family company and I think that benefits the customers because they get that extra dimension of friendliness and family care. I've enjoyed it. It's, uh, I like the travel line, the aspect of it. I'd also like the steam. So the main reason for coming was to get the, the railways and steam and do the travel that way. The best. The best I've ever been on. What I've liked about it is uh, finding places I wouldn't otherwise have got to myself. If you want to see Switzerland, this is by far the best way to come. You don't have any worries, it's all planned out and we're seeing things wonderfully and the trains are great. I would recommend it definitely. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. It's one of those things that you think, mm, would, would I, wouldn't I, but you have to come because the steam trains are really, are, are, to me, are a bonus. The scenery is fantastic and, and it's just all in all, it just makes for a great holiday.
this trip is going to offer something for absolutely everybody. The scenery, breathtaking, really marvellous. I think it's absolutely yeah. fantastic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. enjoyed every minute of it so far. This isn't just a railway holiday, although there's a railway focus on it. We're doing so many different things. We're visiting castles, we're visiting sky, we're looking at ospreys, um, going up mountains. You know, there's so many different things that we sort of pack into one trip. Scenery, absolutely beautiful, beautiful. It's been very interesting, really enjoyed it. Uh, nice way to relax and start the month yes. today. Yeah. Recommend it just for that, really, wouldn't it? Just very, oh, yeah. yeah, for the scenery, haunting and so different, lovely, yeah, really nice. Mm. We take people to a lot of different places, very varied places, we pack a lot into each day. And so I think it's going to appeal to people who want real value for money because they're getting a lot. They're getting a lot in their holiday. Um, and people who want to meet and socialise with other people who, you know, who are like-minded. It's always nice to get behind a, a steam engine and feel the uh, the pull, the surge and the, uh, the beat of the exhaust. It's been an absolutely superb afternoon and once again everything's been put perfectly and uh, it's, it's unbelievably good. The, the, the room is superb. Uh, good view, comfortable and quiet. Oh, very, very nice. Yes. yes. Really good, really enjoyed it. Yeah. Very comfortable. Bedroom, comfortable. Uh, yes. Everything is there. Very, very good. Yes. Good night, it's a good night, start so, yes. of the holidays. Yes. I think we do a little bit more in terms of a personal touch. Um, I don't think we sign up to the sort of big uh, corporate mentality that some of our competitors do. <laughs> well, I think he's, uh, we don't know him personally, we've always met him, but he, I think he's a little bit of a character in, in, in his own right, I think, and yeah. he's very good, he explains where we are, and yeah. uh, he keeps us all on the move. <laughs> yeah. uh, he's very good, yeah. Uh, yes, I'm quite impressed. He's very knowledgeable. He's yeah. obviously read all the books. <laughs> we had, he organised us yesterday for the uh, trip down to um, Nairn. Nairn, that's what Nairn, mm. that worked he out did well. It. it all worked out very well. Oh, excellent. It's out. I've enjoyed it so much. I really have. I wouldn't forget it. <laughs> Absolutely superb. Uh, Every minute of it. Weather, company, the travelling, everything's just so well organised, you can't fault it at all. We will head off to Sky, over the Sky Bridge, that's the plan. I love this train journey to Kyle, and I love being on the train, and I think the Highlands are beautiful, and if you put the Highlands and train together, you've really got um, you know, something that I would enjoy. Oh, superb. I mean, you didn't know which side to look, left or right from the train. And the sunshine was creating all the shadows in the woods and the forests and the hills. Oh, it's been absolutely fantastic. The only downside is that it's the last day today. I would like to have gone for another few more days, but yeah, it's been absolutely fantastic. You must go and do it. Mm. I'll get you a brochure. It's, it's something <laughs> to go and do, yeah. First time we've travelled with the rail trail. And, but it won't be the last one.
have been your highlights of this week? The steam journey, really, and up to uh, from um, Abbeymore to um, Bowden Garden and Burnham. We did learn from Jim that they are extending the line, which would be, be good news in the future for fu future groups. Oh, wonderful, yeah. It's, uh, there's been many highlights uh, for me on the holiday, but I've got to say that was one of the outstanding ones. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> yes, ladies and gents, we're slowly coming back into the station. You see the engine run by you on the right hand side. Broom Hill is also known as Glen Bogle, and that's a little station that featured in Monaco for Glen. Oh. Uh, once you get pulled into the station, you have approximately a quarter of an hour for which to have a walk around the station. There's a little shop that sells books, postcards, sweets, shortbread, and they're always willing to take your money. <laughs> <laughs> It's always nice to get behind a, a steam engine and feel the uh, the pull, the surge, and the uh, the beat of the exhaust. It's uh, it's, it's one that's uh, long gone, I think, really. But it's, it's been an absolutely superb afternoon, and once again, everything's been put perfectly, and uh, it's, it's unbelievably good. It's nice to be able to get round and experience these um, heritage railways, and one this far from home. lovely. I love it. I love being on the train and I think the Highlands are beautiful. The scenery, breathtaking. In combination with that, with a beautiful railway line for Inverness to Kyle, I think it's a really nice day out for me. So I think we deliberately leave this day till last because I think for most people who come on this trip it is the highlight. What we do when we get to Kyle, is that we'll uh, have 10 or 15 minutes to stretch our legs and then we will head off to Sky, over the Sky Bridge. My ambition to always come to Sky and I'd never done it. So today I've done what I wanted to do. <laughs> never ever been up here before this far and the weather has been absolutely fantastic. It's somewhere else, it's absolutely magical. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Isle of Skye. For most people, they find that today's the highlight, the sky visit, and here we are at um, Isle of Dunham Castle. Um, I think for most people, a lot of people have always wanted to visit Skye, but they think it's just that little bit too far. We enjoyed it very much, and uh, particularly, the visit to Sky today, because we have been fortunate with the weather and with the company. It's it, it undescribable in some ways, but it, it's just the views, uh, once again the company, it's, it, it's absolutely fantastic. Isn't it? But really marvellous. Yes, yes, and the journey on the train, really good.
we're covering a lot of um, Scottish history, I guess, the history of the area. I thought the captain was fantastic, really, uh, really entertaining is the word, and, and uh, informative. Very, very good, very good, very interesting, the commentary, very, very good, scenery, absolutely beautiful. We cover a lot of different grounds, so here we're at the castle today, which is cruised on one less. Um, Later we'll be going to Fort Augustus um, on, the, on the southern shores of Loch Ness. So there's a sort of Cairn style memorial coming up on our left. Fantastic, Super. yeah, mm. fantastic. Recommend it just for that really, wouldn't it? Just very, oh, yeah. yeah, for the scenery, haunting and so different. It's been very interesting, really enjoying it. Uh, nice way to relax and start the yes. month today. <laughs>